After the election of a parliament speaker last week, Turkey's 25th parliament is set to from a new presidential council on July 7 which will also bring Turkey one step closer to forming a coalition government. The number of parliamentarians within the presidential council and the distribution of their roles will be on top of the general assembly agenda. The new parliament speaker Ismet Yilmaz will conduct the parliamentary meeting for the first time on July 7 when parliamentarians return from break. According to parliamentary regulations, the presidential council consists of 15 members but the number can be changed if the political parties agree on it. In the current parliament, all four parties have right to appoint one group deputy chairman to the council. If the presidential council gets formed with 15 members, the governing justice and development AK, party will have seven members including parliament speaker Yilmaz. After the AK party, the Republican People's Party CHP, will have four members while the Nationalist Movement Party MHP, and the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party will get two members each. If the number raises to 17, there is a possibility of disagreement between parties on appointment of certain number of deputies to the council that would disturb the members. In this scenario, the AK party will have eight seats while the CHP will have four. The rest of the seats – five seats will be shared between the MHP and the HDP. If this happens the General Assembly is expected to be seen a possible deadlock caused by the nationalist MHP because the pro-Kurdish HDP will have a possibility of having one seat more than the MHP. On the other hand, the HDP announced on Monday that they will not run Dilak Akalan niece of imprisoned leader of the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, Abdullah Akalan as candidate for the presidential council. The nationalist MHP objected Akalan's candidacy for the council. The formation of the presidential council is expected to end on Thursday. If not, it will be completed by next week. Following the finalization of council members, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan will give mandate to Prime Minister and the AK party leader Ahmet Davutoglu to form a government, starting the 45-day-long intense coalition period. The 45-day-long marathon to form a coalition is expected to end sometime between the 24th to 28th of August. If a coalition government cannot be formed within 45 days, the president will call for early elections and appoint a prime minister within five days to form an interim government consisting of representatives from all four parties in accordance with their number of deputies. Once this interim government is approved by a parliamentary vote of confidence, the assembly will be dissolved and the entire election process will restart. Meanwhile, there are two hot topics waiting to be discussed by the parliament. The parliament will be closed until a coalition is formed save for any extraordinary sessions which may be called for during this time.